guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my autumn favourites. So my autumn essentials rather. These are the things that you need to get you through this transitional season. Now the timing of this video is a tad late or a tad early depending on how you look at things. I guess we've already lived through a month of autumn down here down under. Though if you live on the east coast of Australia, then for the past month it's just been really wet and not really that much fun. And if you live up north, then you've got five months to plan. You can be super organised. I've got ten essentials here just strewn over the bed, out of sight, so that all you can see is a very neat and tidy room. It's much like having guests over and you're shoving the mess in the cupboard, closing the door. This is the same thing. The pile of stuff that I have here that I will show you in an orderly fashion are pieces that I have relied on autumn after autumn and indeed spring after spring because I find that dressing for the transitional period is quite similar, particularly in like subtropical or temperate climates where the weather isn't too extreme. Though I must say that with the current rains, I'd probably sub out one or two items for some wet weather appropriate gear. But rather than sub them out, let's just tack them on to the end. So I know that this video is titled Top 10 autumn essentials but there might be a total of about 12 or 13 items in this video misleading perhaps but maybe it's just more bang for buck alrighty folks let's get this autumn essentials party started okay so the first item that I want to share with you are a pair of boots and they are my RM Williams Chelsea boots now the style of this boot is called the Lady Yearling style, which is a style that's come out in the last few years. They have a five centimeter block heel, but they feel like flats when you wear them because they're just so comfortable. And the boots are so well made, they're so durable. I wear them to work, as you would have seen me wear to the office in my recent day in the life vlog. I wear them with skirts, I wear them with jeans. I think they're just like a universal boot in that they go with everything. And the key features of the Lady Yearling style are the fact that it has an arm and toe and it has a block heel. It comes in two different colours, I think it comes in black and the chestnut and I have these in the rubber sole as opposed to the leather sole because the leather sole is really slippery when they're new. My husband actually has a pair of the Craftsman boots that I bought for him with the leather sole and he found them to be slippery as well when I bought them for him a few years ago. And because I'm a little miss clumsy, I didn't want to slip and slide when I first wore these and every time anyone asks me about these boots, I always tell them to get the Lady Yearling style because that's my favourite and to get the rubber sole. It just means that you don't have to wear them in. And I mean, a pair of ankle boots and autumn, I think the two go hand in hand. Yeah, oh, absolutely. The next item that I want to share with you is a striped knit. Spoiler alert, I'm currently wearing one. And I have three examples to share with you. This knit that I'm wearing here is a new piece that I just bought from Arquette. I actually only just unboxed it this morning and I opened it and I was so excited. I was like, yay, I'm going to wear it right now wearing it for this video. But the other two knits that I want to share with you that is a really well-loved style in my wardrobe is the Cezanne Leontine knit, which I have in the Ecru Navy in the size extra small that is featured in my previous Cezanne videos. And I have the same style in the navy colour, which featured in my latest Cezanne haul. You will recall that when I bought the navy version, I was umming and ahhing as to whether or not I should keep it because I find the style to be such a statement style and I'm not usually one of those people that buys the same piece in several different colors but I made an exception for this one because I really do love it these two are cotton knits and they are quite easy care I pop them into the machine on the hand wash setting and I reduce the spin I make sure it's a cold wash and they come up pretty well I don't put them in the dryer I lay them flat but I find that they're quite versatile I like tucking them into a pair of jeans or a pair of pants or even a pair of shorts they're a really great transitional season knit and this one here just first impressions while I have it on this has a tighter weave than the Cezanne knit. So the Cezanne knit is a little bit softer. This one has a little bit more structure, almost like a Milano crepe knit structure, but with cotton. So I'm really impressed with this one. I think this is also going to be a piece that's going to be on high rotation. And yes, I'm well aware that I have a striped knit problem, but I'm just going to set that aside for now just so that I can justify keeping this one. Did I mention the sizes? If I haven't, then I've got a size extra small in both of the Cezanne knits and I'm wearing a size extra small in this Arquette knit. <laughs> the next item is one that I had to fish out of the laundry because I spot cleaned it yesterday because we went out on the weekend and I dropped food on it, which is just story of my life. And it is an Everlane cashmere knit. Now I've got a dedicated video about Everlane knits on my channel. It was one of my very first videos, but they have since updated their crew neck style. And I really like this one. I think this is in the almond. 
and I have this in the size extra small. It's a little bit more oversized, but a bit more relaxed. And Everland Cashmere, I've always been a really huge fan of. I have a lot of Everland Cashmere in my wardrobe. I've been really fortunate enough to test out a lot of their pieces because they send items to me on a monthly basis for me to test out and try. This is one that I've really enjoyed. And even though the color is quite basic and it's a really simple style, it's just a classic piece that can easily be worn to work or on the weekends and you can easily dress it up and down. The perfect transitional piece that also feels very luxurious. The next item I have that was just sort of drying flat in the laundry is my Anine Bing skirt. Now I shared this as one of my favourites a couple of months ago and that was when it was still quite new to my wardrobe but since then I have worn this thing so much. It needs a steam because it's just been washed but I consider this to be one of the building blocks in my wardrobe. It's a black skirt but it's a little bit luxe, it's a little bit special and it's got a lovely silky sheen to it because it is made of silk and I really love how it looks with a t-shirt Shirt. I love how it looks with a dressier top. I've worn it on date nights. I wore it on my weekend away with the girls. It's such a versatile piece. It's got a stretch waistband, so it's just so easy. It easily conceals the food babies. Tried and tested because the silk isn't thin. The silk is quite a weighty silk, and I can't recommend this piece enough. You know, this isn't a new style by any means, and I guess, you know, in the past couple of years, we've seen a lot of the silky, satiny style skirts, but I really do feel like this is an excellent quality one. I didn't really buy into the trend until this year when I bought this skirt and I'm so glad that I did that I just went with the basic black that I didn't go for a print version of the skirt because it has been an amazing purchase for me. That's right, I'm talking about you. The next autumn essential that I wanted to share are a pair of tailored trousers from the Frankie shop. I constantly talk about these over on my blog, my Instagram, even on my YouTube channel because they are my favorite style trouser. I have these in three different colors. I've got them in the camel, in the chocolate brown, and also in the black. And I think that they're the perfect year round trouser, but these are a pair of trousers that look great just with a very slim line top, perfect sort of autumn style, which is why I really love these in the autumn or in the transitional period. Now I have these in the size small across all of the different colors that I have and I also went to the tailor and got them hemmed up so that they sit up at the ankle because if you're petite like me then these pants are going to be swimming on you when you first receive them. I also wanted to address the fact that the fabrication of these is polyester and I normally gravitate towards natural fibers and I prioritize in my wardrobe but I've made an exception for these because I really love the style. I wear these to work but I predominantly wear these off-duty typically with a t-shirt or with a knit I think that it just elevates my off-duty style and just makes me look very Catherine hepburn -y, kind of 1940s stylish woman I just think they're a classic pair of trousers so if you haven't got these already hurry up and just get them the next autumn essential that I have to share are another pair of shoes and they are my Gucci loafers I've spoken about these in a favorites video as well as over on my Instagram. One thing to update you on though is that I have since got these resold in the Vibram rubber sole just to increase their lifespan and just to not slip in them because they have the traditional leather sole. But in terms of autumn styling, it doesn't get easier than a pair of loafers, a pair of trousers and a knit. Particularly in Sydney, we can get away with bare ankles in autumn. The weather isn't so crazy cold. I know that it might not be a thing in other parts of the world, but when it comes to autumn, casual, classic chic style, these always are part of the equation for me. I love them. I'm making my way through this list. I think I'm up to six or seven or eight. I've lost track. The next item that I have to share with you is the ultimate autumn piece. It's one that I purchased in the autumn. It's one that I predominantly wear in the autumn and it is my Reese dress. This is called the Lara dress and I have this in one of their older season colors because I bought this a few years ago now. It's an off shoulder style and it's quite fitted, sort of like a bodycon style dress from the waist down, but up top it's quite loose and quite drapey. It is seriously such a beautiful dress. I've worn it to work and I've worn it on date nights. I think it's on the dressier side rather than casual, though I have seen it's styled with sneakers and I think it looks quite lovely but for me personally I like wearing it for more dressier elevated occasions. I have this in the size small. I probably could have sized down to the extra small because depending on how I have it sitting on my shoulders it can gape quite a bit and so I like to have it sitting quite high on my neckline so that it sort of drapes on my back. This style comes out season after season in different colors. I believe this season they've got it in a camel and in a teal. Both perfect colors for the autumn. I will link 
link them down below. I think this is one of those dresses that is perfect for the office. It's so lovely and comfortable and stylish with such little effort. Whenever I can't be bothered with putting together a whiz bang outfit for work, I will wear this and I will look totally whiz bang even though I've been completely lazy. It's just one of those dresses. I'm going to cheat here with my next item and I'm going to call it tops from Arquette because I have two here that are perfect for the autumn. The first is their long sleeve crew neck tee. I've waxed lyrical about their short sleeve crew neck tees. I really love them but their long sleeve crews are just as good. A sizing note, I normally go for a size small in their short sleeve crews because I prefer a roomier fit when it comes to a classic crew neck tee but in their long sleeve crew neck tees I go for a size extra small because I prefer them to be a little bit more fitted and the size small is just way too long on my arm whereas the extra small works really well. It's just a nice fitted t-shirt. I picked this one up earlier in my Arquette haul which is up on my channel. Not part of this order which was just a cheeky unexpected accidental order. <laughs> and then the next other autumn piece from Arquette is their short sleeve merino tee which has also just come out of the laundry. It's been a big laundry day <laughs> and this is their short sleeve merino tee. I believe this is still available and currently on sale otherwise I will link the long sleeve version that is also available. I have this in a size small. It fits me really well. It's still lovely and fitted. Fitted on the arms as well and it also comes in a long sleeve style which I think would be perfect for layering in the winter but I think for autumnal transitional season purposes the short sleeve version is perfect. These Arquette basics are just awesome. The next piece that I have to share with you is this collarless jacket from Totem. This is one that I managed to nab secondhand. I've got this in the camel as well as the grey. I believe this is called the Lunel. Lunel? I'll pop it on screen. I have this in the extra small. I think that they're just the ultimate autumn jackets. They're short but they're still made of that coat material. This is made of 90% wool, 10% cashmere. So they're still really soft and luxe without being over over the top warm during this mild weather. If I do find one secondhand, I will pop it down below. Otherwise, I will pop some high street dupes. And indeed, I found this style to be really easy to style, particularly to work. I think it looks great with lighter neutrals and it also looks great with denim on the weekends. I've really enjoyed styling this piece, which is why I've got it in two colors. But I think that a camel collarless jacket is just one that you can't go wrong with. And lastly, to round out my top 10 or top 12, I think I've included a few additional items in between there just to be a little bit cheeky is a trench coat it doesn't get more transitional season than a trench coat particularly when it comes to outerwear I have a heap of trench coats from the high street they're all excellent quality I still have that Burberry trench coat on my wish list though one day I will get it one day I've got trench coats from Uniqlo from Mango from Marks and Spencer and from Everlane but if I had to pick two my two favorites it would be the drape trench coat from Everlane I think this is quite dressy when it's belted. This one isn't made of a water resistant fabric like a traditional trench would but I really like the style of this one and the other favorite would be my Marks and Spencer trench coat. This in contrast to the Everlane one is made of a water resistant fabric. It's made from like Marks and Spencer's stormwear technology fabric. I've poured water on this and it doesn't absorb into the fabric it just comes off and I really think that this is a really good value for money trench because it's got all of the trimmings that you would expect of a traditional trench coat or the buckles or the buttons or the details. I think that they've got a newer version of the trench coat now and so I will make sure that I link that. I think that the trench coats from Marks and Spencer are hugely popular. For me that is the item that I think everyone needs from Marks and Spencer and in terms of the trench coats in my wardrobe it is one of the best. Now technically that rounds up my list that was all that I wanted to share but because of all the rains that we've been getting in Sydney I did want to share one more item with you that I have been making real good use out of thanks to the wet weather and it is a pair of these gumboots that I have from Everlane. These are such a delight to wear particularly in the wet weather because my feet just stay happy and dry and they look really chunky and playful but they're actually really quite bouncy and cushy on the inside just how gumboots are like my hunter gumboots are like that too. They only come in full sizes and I'm normally a size six and a half in Everlane but I got these in a size six and they fit perfectly. Great with a pair of socks as well. I would recommend that you wear these with a pair of ankle socks so you don't get any blisters or just to prevent the rubber from touching against your skin. I wear these with my trench coat when I'm dropping the kids off at school or picking them up from school and they're perfect for grocery runs. They've just been such a practical shoe but they're also really quite fun. I had a few comments as well from school mums that have asked me you know where 
need to get your boots because you know they're still getting around in sneakers or Birkenstocks that are just getting totally drenched I mean these are just perfectly practical I posted up a blog post recently showering a wet weather outfit and in that blog post as well I shared how these are really nice contrast from my knee-high hunter boots which I originally bought in New York City during a snowstorm I think that for Sydney weather and for Sydney rain hunter boots still look a little bit too intense whereas these being an ankle length are just much more appropriate so that's it that rounds out my autumn essentials thank you so much for watching guys i hope that you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't already i would love it if you subscribe to my channel i try and upload videos about once or twice a week and so i will see you all very soon bye